Hello, this is Supplier T News. Welcome to the Small Business News for March 19th, 2021. On today's episode, we will be discussing the $15 minimum wage and what issues um, that may arise from that, the new Biden COVID relief bill and how that affects small businesses, and a new Small Business Administration Administrator was appointed, so we'll talk about that as well. But before we get too in-depth, I do want to kind of take a note real quick. Um, if you can, please subscribe to the video if you like the content. Uh, make sure you like and leave some feedback uh, through a comment below. Also, if you like this and you think other people may benefit from the information, go ahead and click on the share button as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, will the $15 minimum wage lead to layoffs? Uh, so according to a CNBC survey monkey, uh, survey, small business survey, uh, they found that one in three small business owners in the U.S. Uh, said that they will have to lay off some employees to comply with the federal minimum wage of $15 an hour. Obviously, this is not a good thing, as over 54% of the respondents do not support raising the minimum wage uh, right now. Coming out of COVID, obviously, there's going to be a lot of challenges when it comes to revenue coming into the business. Uh, also, just going from, you know, what they're paying their employees today to 15 maybe a little bit of a stretch when we're talking about small businesses that already have tight profit margins so this this does make sense uh, according to the congressional budget office which is a nonpartisan organization uh, they forecasted that there is a positive here as the minimum wage will increase or excuse me would live uh, around 900,000 americans out of poverty however uh, it also predicted that there would be a loss of 1.4 million jobs because small businesses uh, may have to lay people off. So um, with this, it's about a difference of about 500,000 uh, people that will be losing their, their jobs and uh, be a net negative uh, overall when it comes to the American economy. While $15 does you know seem like a really good idea, I think a lot of people most likely focus more so on those large corporations. We have to remember that the majority, um, I believe about 90%, if not more, are small businesses. Uh, so this can be a negative effect for the majority of Americans um, when you're looking at that. Uh, obviously, you know, there's some, maybe some, some ways that, that people can discuss how this, this may be right for certain organizations as we're moving forward. But for right now, t today, I do believe based off of the survey um, that the small business owners have spoken. Next up, Biden versus Trump on small business support. Um, everybody loves to compare and contrast, so let's see what how they differ when it comes to their strategy around supporting small businesses. So first up, the American Rescue Plan uh, Act of 2021, which is the Biden uh, plan, uh, that is the $1.9 trillion COVID stimulus package, recently allocated about $50 billion for small businesses directly. According to multi-funding founder and CEO Ami Kaser, the $900 billion relief package under the Trump administration devoted uh, $325 billion to small companies. So as you can see, it's a much larger um, amount for Trump the Trump administration when they were focusing on small businesses versus the Biden administration. But let's take a look at the strategy, right? Uh, so according to the Biden you know, supporters, uh, this is more so of a downstream uh, impact, right? So while there's 50 billion that's going directly to small businesses, uh, they believe that giving money in other areas, uh, specifically when it comes to you know vaccine testing and, and contact, vaccine distribution, um, 350 billion to local and state businesses, as well as 160 billion for schools and universities, uh, they believe that impacting, you know, not the small businesses themselves, but more so their consumer base uh, will help uh, get people obviously healthy when it comes to um, COVID-19 and then opening up uh, these local and state governments a lot quicker. So that way, small businesses will have consumers that can more consumers that can come to their business directly. In addition, uh, with the uh, recent uh, relief plan, uh, they also have money that's going directly to uh, people as well, some of which will be small business owners. So as you can see here, uh, with child tax credits from 2000 to 3000 for ch children 6 to 17 years old, and then 3600 for children under 6. So they believe that, you know, these types of you know tax credits, as well as funding um, other areas of, of our economy will help to open up the business, open up the economy a lot quicker, thereby more people coming to these small businesses. In addition, um, as we can see here, uh, Isabel Guzman is now the new SBA administrator. So the key piece here um, with her confirmation is that it is said that 
She will oversee the doling out of more than $1 trillion through the government's pandemic relief program. So, in addition to that $50 billion, the goal is to ultimately um, dole out about $1 trillion uh, to these small businesses uh, in an effort to support them as well. So, uh, this is a two-phase that the Biden administration is arguing uh, will support small businesses and ultimately uh, lead to them recovering, um, obviously, what they believe quicker versus, you know, previous administration. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, hope for the best, obviously. Uh, but these are the strategies that we're that uh, it appears the government is implementing, and we'll see how it goes. With that being said, you know, thank you so much for your time. Um, you know, if you like the video, make sure you click on the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, and then leave a comment. And if you feel that people need to, you know, hear more about this, make sure you click the share button as well. With that being said, thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.